We're almost ready to start building the project file for the project we'll be building throughout the remainder of this course. But before we do, there's one final step I want to take, and that's installing some custom file templates for Xcode. So in this lesson, I'll show you how that's done. Xcode provides a variety of templates for creating new Objective-C classes and subclasses of UI View Controller, but you can also create your own custom file templates as well. So I've created a custom set of templates based on Apple's standard file templates, but I've paired these things back so that we can focus our discussion just on the essentials as we go along. Now the location for user templates can be found under your library directory. So if you either go up to the file menu and select go, and go to folder, or if you want to get there quickly, you can just hit command shift G. And the specific path we want is tilde, so your home directory, library, and developer. Click go. So this will jump us into Xcode's developer directory. So I've got this templates directory sitting on my desktop, and you can find a copy of this in your working files directory. And I'll simply drag and drop this onto the Xcode folder. And you can see we have this directory of file templates. So under templates, file templates, and then there's this directory called tap harmonic. This is the name that will show up inside of Xcode as a grouping from our new file selection dialog. Let me open up Xcode real quickly. And go up to the file menu and select new file. And I can see I've got my tap harmonic group. And you'll see this group mirrors the files found in the Cocoa Touch group, but these are just slightly tailored templates that will help better focus our discussion. So I'll cancel out of this and hide Xcode. Now the topic of creating custom file templates is outside the scope of this course, but I will point you to a resource. Now a moment for some shameless self-promotion here. I'll point you to a blog post that I wrote recently on how you can create custom Xcode for file templates. In this post, I go into great depth about the topic and cover starting from scratch all the way up to building some fairly functional templates. So I'd recommend going out to my site, bobmccune.com, if you'd like to look up this article. So we're all ready to go, and in the next chapter, we'll start building out the project.